in this session we will discuss about terminated two port network that means here we are using two port network and we will terminate the input side or output side of the ports of the network with impedances let us see first we will terminate the output of the port with the load impedance z l so what is our aim is we want to represent the impedance or input impedance of this two port network in terms of z parameter so here is the two port network and here the input port is 1 1 dash output port is 2 2 dash and we here we are terminating the output port 2 2 dash by an impedance z l let us this is the load impedance and now we have at the port 1 1 dash we have a source v1 okay let i1 be the input current and i2 be the output port current and z11 is the impedance when we are looking at this port 1 1 dash this all are marked in this figure so two port network with the ideal generator at the input port and a load impedance at the output port is shown in the figure the input impedance can be expressed in terms of set parameters of the two port network that is what we are going to prove here so we want to write the equation for input impedance that is in impedance at this terminals that is v1 by i1 ratio when we are terminated the output side by a load impedance z l so we have want to derive the equation for that so here we are we want to represent it in terms of z parameter first of all we have to write the equations for v1 and v2 in terms of z parameters so that is v1 v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 similarly v2 will be equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 this is a z parameter equation here we know that what is v2 v2 is a voltage across this terminal so we can write v2 will be equal to minus i2 into zl because i2 is flowing out of this port okay so we can write v2 will be equal to minus zl into i2 that is the load at the output port 2 2 dash imposes the following constraint on the port voltages and current so v2 will be equal to minus zl into i2 we can substitute this v2 value in this equation that is this is the equation see here the numbering is 16.2 um, uh, that means from our initial discussion about this set parameter we are using a number system that is 16.1 is this and this is 16.2 that is why it is written as 16.2 so when we are substituting this v2 in this equation in this second equation we will get a minus set del into i2 that comes a comes in the place of v2 okay minus z del into i2 comes in this place minus z2 into i2 that will be equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 so here we know we can rearrange this equation i2 will be equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 by minus z del okay that we can write in this equation or you know that here you can but it is not in the form because here there are two i2 terms so we can rearrange first so you will get z22 i2 plus zl into i2 equal to z21 i1 and again you can write the equation of i2 that will be equal to minus i1 z21 by zl plus z22 that is simple rearrangement of this equation and we are deriving the equation for i2 so this is the i2 equation we can substitute we, what is your aim? our aim is we want to represent the output impedance in terms of set parameters okay sorry input impedance in terms of the set parameter that is our aim so here we have now i2 equation we can substitute this i2 equation in this equation okay so we will get to substitute in this equation i2 in 16.1 we will get v1 equal to z11 i1 minus z12 instead of i2 this term comes okay instead of i2 we will get this term so that is written here so z21 i1 by zl plus z22 and here when you are looking to this equation we can take i1 outside so v1 equal to i1 into z11 minus z12 z21 divided by zl plus z22 so here is, is a familiar term because v1 i1 can be taken to left side so we will get v1 by i1 will be equal to this equation so what is v1 by i1 so that is the driving point impedance of the 1 1 dash port so this is the equation for impedance of the input port that is input impedance 
that means here we are representing input impedance in terms of set parameters of the network along with the so uh, load impedance uh, by which we are terminating the second port so let us see two cases what will happen to this input impedance when the load impedance is infinity or whenever the load impedance is zero okay let us see two cases whenever the load impedance is infinity what is this meaning load impedance infinity means that this is the load impedance this become infinity means that this port is open whenever this port is open what will happen to this input impedance so let us see so whenever saddle is infinity then this v1 by i1 that is equal to this term whenever uh, denominator term infinity means this term will become zero so v1 by i1 will become z11 that means whenever the output port is infinity or open circuited then the input impedance will be equal to z11 okay similarly we can discuss another case what will happen to the input impedance whenever z l equal to zero that means whenever we are short circuiting the output to port so whenever the short, we are short, short circuiting the output port this saddle becomes zero so we will get v1 by i1 what will happen to this term v1 by i1 will be equal to z11 minus z12 into z21 divided by z22 this term becomes zero okay so when we are rearranging and cross multiplying this equation we will get v1 by i1 will be equal to z11 into z22 minus z12 into z21 divided by z22 that is equation c here this is the equation at the right side but we know that in the previous videos um, about the set parameter we know that that this term will be equal to 1 by y11 that is an admittance parameter inverse of the admittance parameter y11 so this is the short circuit driving point impedance at whenever the load impedance is zero that means whenever we are short circuiting the output terminals the input impedance become inverse of the y11 that is 1 by y11 okay so that is the equation that is the two cases so here now uh, he, here we calculated the input impedance whenever we are connecting a load impedance with the output terminals so next we are finding out a relation um, for the output impedance whenever we are um, uh, giving an input source or a generator at the input terminals so Consider a two-port network connected to a generator at the input port. See, you can see here that at the input port, we are connecting a generator or a source. And also, we are connecting a source impedance, ZS, at the input side. And we want to derive an equation for output impedance when we are connecting this source impedance. Okay, that is our aim. So, let us see this network, 11-port input port. 2 to dash output port, V2 is output voltage and Vs is a source, source voltage and ZS is input impedance. In the previous case, we have connected a load impedance and we calculated the input impedance. Now, here we are connecting a source impedance here and we are connecting the output impedance. So, we want to derive an equation for output impedance in terms of set parameter. Okay. Here also, we want the initial equations of v1 and v2 in terms of z parameter that that uh, I, here it is not written because in the previous slide we have written it so now we have a v1 and v2 here you can see input source is connected to series impedance zs so we have an equation from the input side as v1 will be equal to when we are connecting uh, con uh, we are taking it as a loop v1 will be equal to vs minus i1 into zs right so we can write v1 equal to vs minus i1 into zs similarly v2 is as the previous equation z21 into i1 plus z22 into i2 you know also we have an equation v1 will be equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 see here if only this source is connected there is no zs then what is the value of this vs that is input source voltage v1 will be or v1 will be equal to vs whenever there is no zs v1 will be equal to vs so that will be Vs will be equal to what is the value Z11V I1 plus Z12 I2. So we can instead of Vs we can write V1 V1 will be equal to instead of Vs we can write Z11I1 plus Z12 I2 minus I1 into ZS. Source impedance is includes here the source impedance includes the input impedance of this to uh, of this port. So we can write this is equal to minus i1 and instead of ZS we can write ZS plus Z11. 
so instead of vs we are writing these two terms instead of zs we are writing zs plus z11 and here when you are multiplying the terms you can cancel the common terms so you will get z12 to i2 minus vs here that will be equal to z12 to i2 minus what is vs vs is equal to i1 into zs we can write so by rearranging this equation we will get the equation for i1 as z12 to i2 minus vs by zs plus z11 so this is an equation we can substitute this value of i1 in this equation that is v2 equal to equation so we will get v2 equal to minus z21 into z1 to i2 minus vs by zs plus z1 that is instead of i1 we are substituting this value this value okay plus z22 into i2 so here we can rearrange this equation and we can take i2 terms outside so we will get v2 equal to this equation will look like this okay this is the equation so whenever we are uh, multiplying and uh, cancelling the common terms we will get v2 will be equal to this equation okay you can uh, do it on your notebook uh, you will get this equation like this and here you can see i2 is a common here so we can take it at the left side so v2 by i2 will be equal to some term that will be equal to v2 by i2 equal to z22 plus minus z12 into z12 divided by zs plus z11 when we are cross multiplying you will get v2 by i2 equal to z22 z plus plus z22 z11 minus z21 z12 divided by zs plus z11 z11 so this can be written as a delta z what is delta z delta z is this term that is the determinant term when we are taking the determinant of z parameter we will get this terms okay plus z22 z s plus this equation so now we have the impedance okay so let us see what will happen to this impedance whenever we are changing the values of zs now we are discussing it in two cases that is zs is infinity and zs is equal to zero zs is infinity means what is its meaning zs is infinity means that it Mm, this part is open okay that is its meaning that means whenever the input port is open what will happen to this let us see before that we have to make it small changes in this equation here we are multi dividing the numerator terms and denominator terms by zs so we will get a delta z by zs plus z22 divided by 1 plus z11 by zs so whenever we are substituting zs is equal to infinity this term becomes zero and this term also becomes zero so the output impedance v2 by i2 will become z22 similarly in the previous case also whenever we are putting zl equal to infinity input impedance is equal to z11 and here whenever we are putting zs is equal to infinity then the output impedance is equal to z22 so compare uh, two cases whenever we are terminating the output side we will get z11 whenever we are terminating the input side um, we will get uh, the impedance as z22 Similarly, next case is ZS is equal to 0 case. What is the meaning of ZS is equal to 0? That means we are short circuiting the input terminals. Then what will happen to the output impedance? So whenever we are short circuiting it, let us have this equation. So whenever ZS is equal to 0, here we can take the same equation. So we will get ZS is equal to 0. That means it will become delta Z by Z11. So V2 by I2 will become delta Z by Z11. That will be equal to 1 by y22 so you can compare this with the previous case in the previous case whenever we are terminating the output side by load impedance we will get the input impedance as 1 by y11 here when we are terminating the input side by, um, by short circuit then we will get the output impedance is equal to 1 by y22 so this is the difference and uh, this is the case you have to go on through um, once again and you can write the equations on your notebook you will get the clear idea so remember the equations of input and output impedance whenever the load is infinity and the load is zero and also you have to remember the equations for output impedance whenever the source is infinity source impedance is infinity and source impedance is zero so that's all about this topic thank you